At first, it looks like the goldfinches are the main players here. They certainly have the numbers. But when their heavyweight cousins, the greenfinches, turn up, it's clear to me this new gang takes centre stage. These tough guys have so much attitude. They even go for each other if it means getting the best spot at the feeder. But enter stage left, the blackbird, seeking the limelight and sending the others packing. Whilst the dramatic battle plays out on the feeders, the fight to control the leftovers below is just as fiercely fought. Wood pigeons are the first to try their luck. But blackbirds are highly territorial. It's a face-off, each standing their ground. Sometimes tenacity is just as important as size. In amongst this commotion, I glimpse a new visitor. So I creep in, hoping for a closer look. Enter centre stage, a bank vole. It has no hope of reaching the dizzying heights of the feeder. Thankfully, some birds weigh the seeds in their bills, assessing their quality. If they're not up to spec, they're discarded. Not only are the birds above providing a free fast food delivery service for the vole, they're also working as an early warning security system. At the first sign of a predator, the bird alarm calls and movements alert the vole to danger and it darts to safety. Then I realise that someone else has eyes on the prize. Too lean, muscular and powerful for flighty featherweights. Rather unsurprisingly, the red squirrel's appearance ruffles a few feathers. Soon the squirrel's spring diet of shoots and buds will disappear. So I expect to see a lot more of him here this summer. For now, happy with his fill, he exits and normal service is soon resumed. At first, my time at home made me feel like my world had grown a little smaller. But I stopped to look a little closer. And it turns out there are extraordinary dramas playing out right under my nose. I've realised this feeder means everything to these animals. And for very different reasons, this spring, and now I hope for many springs to come, it means everything to me too.